Today I want to talk about the Sony Wireless speed light and flash system. This system works really well. It works basically automatically. You put these things around and it works TTL from any uh, Sony Alpha 5 series and above. Uh, you set them into a commander mode and it will remotely fire all of the flashes. Uh, because it's TTL, each one will meter itself separately and uh, attempt to provide a correct exposure. It's pretty amazing even in daylight, uh, outside, um, it works. It's really handy for trying to balance daylight. And amazingly, the system will work with high-speed sync also, which is really cool. So if you have to go above 1 250th of a second, uh, you can go all the way up to 1 8,000th and it will wirelessly trigger them and they'll work. So let's look at some settings. It's currently in a normal flash mode, however, if you change the mode to wireless, now it's ready, now it's waiting for the camera to trigger it. Likewise with the uh, 42 AM, you put that into wireless mode, and now it's waiting. Everything else can stay in auto because it's TTL. Right now I'll do a couple test shots with everything in auto, then I'll demonstrate if we're going to control something manually. And now on the back of the Sony A77, it's really easy. Flash mode, wireless. And now it will control all of these flashes by extending the pop-up flash. That will trigger everything else over there. So now let's do a couple demo shots. So now let's do a couple test shots. I'm going to put this behind me into the side as an edge light. And the big one will be my key light off to the side up here. And now let's fire a test shot and see what happens. Both of those just fired. We'll take a look. And there I am pretty much properly exposed. The neat thing about this system is because the flashes are in TTL, I can move the light source around. I can move this source over here for this shot. Take another one. And it just metered and figured that out. It's going to be effectively exposed properly. I can move the, cl the flash much closer to me, which will adjust its power settings. Try another one. We'll also adjust the uh, harshness of the shadows. I just adjusted the camera so it's now doing 1 2,000th of a second. So these will be high speed flash sinks. I'm going to step a little bit further away from the background. Move the flash is slightly closer and we'll see what this looks like. You can see that I removed much more of the ambient light from the uh, picture. When you go into high speed sync mode, it will also consume a lot more power from the flashes because they have to really blast out some light. So with these last few pictures, the flashes have been in automatic. Their zoom range is automatic, so it's pretty much wide. It's going to be filling up the entire room with light. If we wanted to isolate me more from the background, we can adjust the zoom rating on each one of these flashes. I'm going to zoom them in all the way, have them come at my face, close to my face, and the inverse square law should make the background fade to gray or even black. It just depends. So let's adjust the zoom level on flashes. All right, let's see what this looks like. All right, let's see what this one looks like. So there you have a quick demonstration of the uh, Sony Alpha Splash Speedlight system using wireless triggering from the uh, camera, built-in wireless triggering from the camera. If you're curious how this compares to, say, the uh, Nikon Creative Lighting System, it's pretty similar. The Creative Lighting System is slightly better because you can control each speed light from the, uh, from the camera in a commander mode individually, discreetly. I can't do that with the Alpha System. I can do flash exposure compensation, which can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness of all the flashes in unison, but I can't discreetly control groups. That's a shame, but... Uh, this system works pretty well. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll try to answer. Alright, bye.